am expecting a lot from this program. It's a unique opportunity because I want to develop my skill in ESD. This program is actually a great opportunity for uh, we people uh, Nepalese people and we, we, we can have a collaboration uh, with uh, the Changsu Province Hospital uh, with the Nep Nepalese uh, government hospital or private hospital. Uh, today uh, we will have uh, for the, uh, the next uh, uh, days uh, uh, training on ESG which is not uh, as a technique uh, yet uh, so developed in Tunisia so I uh, hope it will uh, be uh, the opportunity for me to learn more about this technique and uh, to introduce it uh, uh, in my, our department. Has been relatively slow to develop in countries along the Belt and Road, where the demand is substantial. Our training program includes theoretical instruction, surgical demonstrations, endoscopic simulator training, and hands on practice with live and animal models to enhance the trainee's surgical skills and clinical practice abilities. The greatest significance lies firstly in medical exchange. Secondly, as Zanzibar is a developing country, our treatment philosophies and standards are aligned with global practices. This allows us to update their concepts and better serve the local population of Zanzibar. Our trainees from 15 countries and regions came to our hospital, primarily to learn about our emergency medicine and endoscopic technology. This fully reflects the concept that health knows no borders. We unreservedly and selflessly share our medical techniques and philosophies with medical professionals worldwide, jointly safeguarding human health. This approach embodies a global community of health for all, a principle advocated by President Xi and aligned with the Belt and Road Initiative providing us with an excellent platform.